The Skunk Works Org have recently begun building a fleet of larger multi-crew vessels. Though in its early stages of development, I wanted to share with you just how we are going about this, so future videos will have a little more context. Skunk Works Fleet Command is the branch of our org managing the largest assets at our disposal, sub capital and large multi-crew ships. And Fleet Command is further divided into battle groups, of which we currently have four. Two operating in the US time zone, battle groups Celestial and Antares, and two operating in the European time zone, battle groups Altair and Daymar. A battle group as it stands now is made up of a command ship, usually a Carrack, a corvette, usually a hammerhead, a torpedo bomber, usually a retaliator, and two constellation andromedas as missile support for the other vessels in the battle group. All the current battle groups are only partially filled however, and at this moment in time the threat level of Stanton does not rise to a level necessitating a full battle group, with support from Fighter Command, the fleet's sister organisation covering one and two man fighters and bombers, providing enough for now. But someday we'll be heading out on expeditions to Pyro and Nyx and beyond, and when that day comes we want to be prepared. The Greg Burton is the command ship of battle group Daymar and has to date mostly conducted its patrols and trainings alone, but situations were inevitably going to arise that proved the need for additional support, and this week was one of those situations. Before we return to the Greg Burton though, the other battle groups and crews of the fleet are also out there conducting patrols and carrying out training, and the Skunkwick Celestial Soul, command ship of battle group Celestial, under the command of Fleet Admiral Phoenix 83, was heading out on such a patrol, providing security to the rings of Yela. There she is, the Celestial. It's big. Do we have gunner assignments? Uh, uh, not uh, yet. Uh, so we do not want to go. Uh, we do not want to get inside gunner tournaments yet until we launch. Otherwise, they get knocked off. Yeah. Go ahead, Forgo. Take the uh, the command chair. Uh, initialize all ship power. Phoenix 83 runs the fleet, and his commandability and well-managed crew inspire a lot of confidence. Hailing station? Yes. They're waiting right outside the hangar bay. Other side, uh, as a... Logistics crew and tuners, if you can close the shuttle bay, please. There's myself, Star Lizard, and Snowy Owl. Arrow, on your hood. That way you can actually aim independently. Oh, there's plenty of room for that shuttle, yeah, okay. The right, just does more than that. Forgo, as soon as we get in the orbit of Yela, hold position. The Celestial Soul was making the now familiar journey for skunks between Ambitious Dream of Crusader L1 and Yela, and it wasn't long before they were in the thick of it. Radar contact. Alright, bring us a little closer, let's investigate. Speed 344. Copy. Field. I see a third contact. Affirmative. Affirmative. Copy. Radar lock, contact. Within 10 kilometers of the target, I want I want green speed. SEM only. Contact. Radar right. uh, missile lock. Flare. Chaff. Second target. Third target. Three targets. Contact front. Noy Hatchinson. Down left hand above. Incoming missile. Okay. Firing. Uh, they don't snow. He says he has to stop. The first target was a hurricane, but the crew of the Celestial Soul were very well drilled. Good job on flight control. Good job on coordination. Alright, recouple. Alright, good job. Ventral. There was also a hammerhead and escorts out there. A much more dangerous combination. The bottom of the field here, from your perspective. Ventral. Target in range, target firing, engaging. Alright. I want you to slowly pull them out of the field, okay? Two missiles. Power, two missiles coming in from aft. Target to go fast. Roll to port. Roll all the way around so Top Turret can have a solution. Alright, that's good. Just keep pulling them out. 
That's good. Perfect. Perfect. Get it. Excellent. Good job. As soon as you pull them out, okay, it looks like he's out of the field. I want you to decouple and I want you to do a spiral around him, okay? Go into the red. We're clear the, we are clear of the field. Go into the red. Power to shield. One, one degree. Pull away. Pull away. Give me full burn. Give me full burn away from the target. Nose away. Forward shields are down. Nose away. Full burn away from the target. Starboard's recharge. Before we redirect power, uh, I need a little more power to engines. After the shields recharged, they were ready to face down the hammerhead again. We don't want her to forget us. Don't go down into the field. Go high. Don't nose down. Don't point down. Go high. There we go. We want to control. We want to control the space here. Pull her in where we need her. As soon as you pull her back, as soon as you pull her out, I want you to go decoupled and give me a spiral orbit. I will do the best I can doing a spiral. This thing is not easy. Yeah, I know. That's why I want you to pull it out of the field. Closing. Okay. I'm throwing no sight. Half turn. Is working. It is excellent. Okay. Nicely done. Right. So superior. Yes, that's perfect. Perfect orbit. Keep it going. Go under the red if you need to. Could you put those? That's perfect. We have good firing solution. I have low. Hit contacts on the ship, so this is perfect. Can we put nose down a little bit. Try. Uh, we can't put nose down. He's trying to go under a spiral at the moment so that he can uh, stay clear of the fire. Oh, sir, capacitor is out. Aft will continue as he, as he can hit. Well, Copy. Can bring the nose up. Yep. So Keep it. Okay. Right now, right now, pilot is trying to stay clear of fire. Copy. Target out of range, stop tower. Yep. Target out of range of that, sorry. Just a little. Yeah, back in range. Range position 4.5. Start a drive. Target nice. nice. Oh, nice. yep. Nice. The crew of the Celestial Soul had vanquished another heavily armed troublemaker in the Crusader region. I am very impressed with how well Phoenix and his crew worked together. They were returning to Grim Hex for a security sweep before continuing on with their patrol. And I'm sure we'll see more from the Celestial Soul in future. Not unless fire upon. Contact is docking at Grimhouse. Copy. We're moving out. I said in last week's video that not all patrols would be successful, and for the Greg Burton this week would be one of them. But it is still a good experience for the crew and lessons learned along the way. If it makes us a better crew, then failures are worth it in the end. Many of the Burton crew are inexperienced, including our pilot Radchak. And so getting some time in unusual or difficult circumstances is a good tool. But we'd be starting the day waking up from a bed log aboard the Burton. Makushu, I apologize. I was I was laid on top of you. I apologize now. How is my crew doing? How are you guys doing, Daddy? Look at you. I think there's all multiple there. people here. <laughs> I'm stuck inside Mark. someone. Oh. Bed logging is still quite a problematic feature with infinite loading screens or the inability to leave your bed after logging back in being more common than anyone would like. But on this occasion, we were able to recover all but one of the crew. Yeah. But look at this, the crew of the bed getting, getting up after a bed lock. I feel like I'm starting work again. I need to go and jump on my shift. Good to see you awake again, Babiza. First order of business is always to set your ICU and respawn aboard the ship, and we make efforts to get our last crew member, Saivan, safely aboard. Saivan, status? Um, 
I unlocked those, but I haven't got back to the menu yet. Okay. It shouldn't matter if you guys move, right? I, I'm bound to the ship. Uh, not yeah, yeah. I mean, technically, it shouldn't matter. Um, okay, take us to Dema. The person uh, was heading to Dema on the tail of a wanted criminal player. It's probably one of the slower ships to get into the air. Just how long it takes to get to all your stations. Wait, that's yeah, no, that's Z that's Zebros. I'm not, I'm not tracking. I wasn't tracking the actual bounty mission, and so I was in my movie glass screen when we happened upon them near Daymar. They were also at surprisingly close proximity. Okay, here we go. Crusader, you guys share that bounty or no? Engage. Just shoot the, shoot engage, the ship. Engage, guys, engage. That's it, now we got guns, now we got guns. Okay, pull up, pull up, pull up. Full throttle, full throttle, yeah, they're trying to run. Running. They're running. running. Yeah, full yeah. throttle. We can't catch him, he's a star runner. No, we can't. Do you have um drive spooled just ready? Just in case? I do now. Okay. He's aiming. Crusader? Behind us and above us, yeah. So pushing the button up. He's gone. Okay, let's, let's balance power and then um, go. We'll, we'll track him out. The target had jumped to Port Olisar and we'd be in pursuit, but I could already tell they didn't want to stand and fight. And the Karak is not a pursuit ship, easily outmatched by the Star Runner in maneuverability. They also quickly jumped back to Daymar. Is the other crew still on? They, I don't think they switch servers though. Oh, of course, yeah. Port side, and oh, he shit. is stationary right there. Get the guns on him. Get the guns on him. He's close range. Close range. Got this guy. Got this. Port starboard turret. We're heading in on the next run. If we get a next run, we need those port and starboard turrets. Like we need them on on the target quickly. And the target would continue to lead us on a chase. I maybe hidden down to the surface. It's heading to the surface. Yeah. Oh yeah, he just QT to the surface. No, that wasn't a Are there any locations down there nearby, or is he just going straight down? He's just flying straight down in normal space. He's burning up in atmosphere now. There were other skunk pilots in the region, and already knowing we were outmatched for pursuit, I was sending out details for pilots to join us. There we go. That's straight at him. Okay, there we go, yeah. There you go, now you're on target. Now, use full thrust to kind of um, kill our momentum. And Good, like work, good work, good work. One, one F seven, otherwise completely powered engines. He's taking off again. We're still gaining on him. If you keep a higher elevation on him slightly, we'll have faster speed in atmosphere. Okay, we need to climb. We need to climb a little, so we'll gain. We'll have more moment. We'll have more speed. Stay as high as we can in, in the atmosphere here. Good work, Boy. good work, Red Check. This is good. The Karak lacks missiles, and so getting into gun range is our only combat capability. But yeah, come down behind him, that way we still keep it uh, elevation. But not yet, though, not yet. Let's close that he's range turning first. towards us, he's locking missiles. Okay. Missiles fired. Don't even lie about that. Yeah. And then we'll and he's running. He's running. See, we need to climb to get the speed. Like we need to be out of atmosphere to get the speed. We're we're getting it on still. We're getting. Yeah. He's trying to fight in atmosphere. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go, go, guys. Nine inches to go. Angle to the angle to the right. Angle to the right, 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 right a bit. Right check. Perfect. Change altitude. 
Engage, engage. And engage. All turrets fire. He has a turret. Full boost, full boost, yeah. full boost. Out of range. It's a good run, it's a good attack run. Very good work, guys. And this was the lesson of the day. The Karak is well armed and very tough, but if your opponent just wants to evade, you'll end up in a kind of stalemate. We continue to find windows in range, but they were too short sure to score the kill. Even with Saivan out there in a Hornet Ghost, the target was giving us the slip. Oh, this is good. Here we go, here we go. Engage, guys, engage, engage. Oh, God, the lead's so messed up. Oh crap! Here we go, 26, 25. Here we go guys, you got this, you got this. Yes, good hits. That's it, that's it. Good hits, good hits. Yes, keep it good in the bridge. That's it, good work, Roger. Good, nose up, nose up. Full flip, there we go, full flip. Good flying, good flying, good flying. Good flying, good flying. I say, yeah, you are really staying on target here. He's looking, he's trying to leave the planet, he's coming straight up. Okay. Who the goal for Oh, that's the half. And this time they really were leaving Daymar, heading to Grim Hex, and another skunk fighter, Combat Taffy, had joined the pursuit. It looks like he is running this time. Yeah, he's yeah he's running into space. Maybe maybe we'll be able to have a face to face chat with them at Grim. But it turns out they were not heading to Grim Hex to land, and our suspicions of their true motives grew along the way. This is where one of the Achilles' heels of the Carrack is the lack of missiles, lack of rockets. Yeah. Get ready, this could be a trap, like they could, maybe they've come here and they're not docking because someone else is leaving. Oh, I wish I could land. With an inexperienced pilot, the Rings of Yella are a very dangerous place in a ship like the Carrack. When the inertia of the ship gets away from you, big accidents can happen. I reckon this could be a trap. I think they could, they could be somebody else they've, they've called upon. God, he hasn't jumped yet, he could easily just jump. Like, slow us down to what you feel is safe, Rad. And, um. Yeah, well. We're in 2 SCM. Oh, God. We're gonna come. We're gonna come. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I, I can't do anything. I'm literally have full flush of full everything. You, you need to turn. You need to aim the main thrusters. We need to be aiming retrograde to our current vector, essentially. Rad check lacks experience but his motivation and attitude are very good. I have no doubt he will become a great pilot. For now though, safety was the focus. Oh my god. He's at 20 kilometers then. Oh, once we start. Yeah, but he's, he's sitting there. I think he wants to fight within the asteroid field. Oh, he, oh, I see. Now come see. Oh. Oh, he wants to make us ram into an asteroid. That's why he went to the planet in the first place. Exactly. He's trying to make us die to debris. Taffy was out there harassing the target, and I wasn't going to push the ship too fast in these circumstances. The target didn't want to stop and fight though, they wanted to goad us into hitting an asteroid. We knew this, but it was also good experience for the crew, that a lumbering and inertia prone ship like the Greg Burton is not well suited to chasing down a more nimble smaller ship. Roger. And then you have to slow us the hell down as well, because like right now you are you're drifting us into the asteroids again, and like uh, without control of the drift of the inertia of the ship, like that is just not safe. If we're gonna go in after them, we're gonna go real slow. We're just gonna take it nice and really slow. They're moving as well. They're moving faster than we us. Need to go. We need to speed up. I think we should probably stick to a slower speed. Just wait for Taffy to engage him in a fight. He's getting further from us. That's, I'm willing to let that happen. 
that he's going to laugh us to scorn if we, if we, if you guys would. Yeah, and the thing is, like again, the the inertia of the ship is difficult to control, and it takes practice and experience. And what you need to do, see, is like like Bam said, is you've got to, you've got to face the ship against its direction of travel and like full thrust. And at the highest speed, the stopping distance is huge anyway. Taffy's on them now, so if we we close range now, they're distracted by Taffy. We're, we're coming close, we're at like five kilometers. Okay, we're in range. Three kilometers. Here we go, guys, here we go. Two kilom two and a half, here we go. Coming into range now. We're in range, we're in range, engage, engage. Nose down, nose left. Is it up hard, up hard? Running, running, running. Yeah, Taffy. I think Taffy can chase him down. Keep on him, Taffy. We'd gone around with it a few times and got off some shots, but it was time to make a decision about docking the Burton or continuing on for the extra experience. Let's take it in, Grim. Like we've been at this for a couple of hours now. You know, we only get we, we normally only schedule for like a one-hour thing. I mean, that ship is just too fast for for the burn. You know, we don't have missiles. It's a it's a early experience. You know, it's, they're very valuable in and of themselves. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question, okay? Do you guys want to carry on chasing? Because if you want to, I'll stick with you guys. Um, anyone, anyone who, anyone who wants to go is free to go. Like we could show them. Uh, yeah, I get that it's going to be for you. You know, if you want to log, that's fine. Yep. We'd lose one or two of our gunners this time, but those that wanted to push on, I was happy to support. I would now need to jump on a gun myself. I have a, a good suggestion. Oh please. Since you know you have the command chat, like if in the situation for on the asteroid field, well, it would pay for someone who's skilled in orbiting, you know, objects to mm -hmm. take control of the ship. Oh, yeah, that's that would be a bad idea, would it? You can hand over controls seamlessly without ever, like, dropping control. Yeah. It's whole side of the deck. I was just thinking that. Um, oh god, I'm gonna <laughs> log out I, before I, we die. I didn't think of that, actually, yeah. I mean, it's an option. I, I would rather, I'd rather check at the time, kind of, you know, in the experience. Yeah, of course. But, yeah, it's an option. You'll be able to target lock again. That would be nice. And so we pushed on the pursuit again, with Marcuccio giving advice to Radchek as we went. Radchek, as a pilot and a person, applies himself fully to what he is doing, and with the experience will become an outstanding pilot, I have no doubt. When you get closer to him, try to lower speed, because he's going to change direction. Here we go. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Change direction and go that way. And still don't go too fast. But ultimately, we were going around in circles with this target. Like, the thing is, we're going to be going... We, we are going to go around and around, and I don't think we're going to take this target out. Like, uh, I've got a lot, a lot of experience with combat, and not as much in this game as with other games, but, like, this isn't a fight that I would take, you know. This target outmatches us in the way, in exactly the yeah. ways that it's just going to drag on, and we're not really going to get anywhere. There was one last thing that Mark suggested for our situation, that one of us took the helm to finish this thing off. Ratchek, would you be interested in swapping for a turret? Yeah, I could try. But as we were changing out positions, something unexpected occurred. We're on the upper command station now. Tell me where you go. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I can jump. Yep, go ahead, yep. There we go. Oh, whoa, okay, we're oh. If you watch back and freeze, you will see that an arrow flies straight into the front of our ship, and I suspect this was a play by our target, making use of an accomplice, which if so was well played. They had kept us busy for long enough to set up an ambush and made use of an inexpensive ship to take down a much tougher target. 
For the crew of the Burton, this patrol was not a direct success, no. But as I said, if you learn from these experiences and it improves your outcomes in future, then it is still a valuable experience. We would head out to outfit the rest of the crew with the new crew uniform you guys saw last week. And though we haven't fully decided on the colour yet, I do think the crew look great together. Jeez. Good enough that we were motivated to get our first crew screenshot together. I'd like to thank all of you for watching and send out a very special thank you to our patrons, especially Captain Prox and Ebling Miss, who recently became supporters of this series over on Patreon. Thank you both for your very generous support. Patrons like you are what make this series possible. If you are considering trying out Star System for yourself, you can gain an extra 5,000 credits in game using the referral code in the description below when signing up for an account. And thank you to all the commenters on the last video that advised me that this credit bonus does transfer over if there is a wipe, like the one coming up with the launches 3.15. We'll be back with more from the Skunkworks fleet very soon. Fly safe everyone.